This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. A 17 year old man is in jail now accused of shooting a teen girl in East Price Hill Saturday. Investigators say De Leon Rice killed 18 year old Aveyance French at a home on Purcell Avenue. Her family shared that photo of her with us a couple of hours ago. Rice now faces a charge of reckless homicide. Detectives haven't released many details about what led to the shooting as that investigation continues. The National Weather Service has confirmed it now. Two tornadoes touched down early Saturday in Highland County. One an EF zero, the other an EF one. We found neighbors cleaning up debris. The storm uprooted trees near Hillsborough and caused damage to homes and cars. The Weather Service also confirms a tornado in Ross County, just about 23 miles northeast of Hillsborough. A Boone County Sheriff's Lieutenant is now out of the hospital after investigators say four teens hit him in a stolen SUV as they tried to get away. Lieutenant Chris Hall was setting up stop sticks on US 42 to stop them. The four juveniles could now face attempted murder and receiving stolen property charges. Your UC Bearcats just keep on rolling. They got a big win over Central Florida at home Saturday. The 56 21 win actually extends the Bearcats home winning streak to 24 games. That's the second longest in the country, and it was a big game for both Desmond Ritter and Jerome Ford. The Bearcats are now 6 and 0 oh. and Sherry, it now finally feels like fall around here. Yeah, it feels like football weather getting up Sunday morning. We're going to see those temperatures in the low 40s and some upper 30s in the areas outlying away from the city, but with a lot of sunshine, we're going to warm up to about 65 on average here in the tri state. That's near seasonal seasonal is 67 degrees and we're going to keep the sunshine going through the first portion of the week all the way really until about Wednesday by Wednesday. We're going to start seeing a front that will come through and bring the next chance of rain and also some cooler temperatures will gradually warm to to the low 70s.